my Savior lives, because He lives, I can face tomorrow, because He lives, all fear is gone, because I know One day I'll cross the river, I'll fight life's final war with pain, and then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory and I'll Because he lives, I can face tomorrow, because he lives, all fear is gone, because I know he holds the future. And so, friends, good morning. It is good to be with you this day as we continue our resurrection journey. Today is Thursday, April the 23rd, and that song you heard just a few moments ago was Because He Lives from Bill and Gloria Gaither. And I just love the simplicity of that chorus. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone because I know he holds the future and life is worth living just because he lives. And so in these troubled days, when we're not sure what tomorrow holds, let us lean into the promise of those words. To lean into the one who does know what the future holds, who holds the future in his hands, that is the Lord. We continue on our resurrection journey, going through the Gospels. On Monday, we looked at Mark. On Tuesday, we looked at Matthew. And now today, we turn to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, considering Luke's account of the Gospel and the, the resurrection of the Lord. Let us listen now to the word of the Lord. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, there came to the, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again? Then they remembered his words. And returning to the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and the other women who were with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. Friends, this is the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now... We turn to another song. You'll certainly recognize the tune for this hymn. This is Sing of the Lord's Goodness. And uh, I hope that through these words, you may be reminded of the resurrection power of our Lord. Sing of the Lord's goodness, Father of all wisdom. 
come to him and bless his name. Mercy he has shown us, his love is forever, faithful to the end of days. Come then, all you nations, sing of your Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Bring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name. Power he has wielded, honor is his garment, risen from the snares of death. His word he has spoken, one bread he has broken, new life he now gives to all. Come then all you nations, sing of the Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and strength to God. Ring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name. Courage in our darkness, comfort in our sorrow, spirit of our God most high. Solace for the weary, pardon for the sinner, splendor of the living God. Come then, all you nations, sing of your Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Ring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name. Praise him with your singing, praise him with a trumpet, praise God with a lute and harp. Praise him with the symbols, praise him with your dancing, praise God till the end of days. Come then, all you nations, sing of the Lord's goodness, melodies and praise and thanks to God. Ring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name. And so, Lord, uh, so friends, let us remember that our, the invitation to the tomb uh, is not just to know that the Lord is risen, but to witness, to attest, and even to sing, to praise. It is not just uh, a sight to behold and step back and remain unchanged, but the empty tomb is an invitation to a new life for you, for all of us. The new life of Christ provides us that new life, that hope of resurrection power for even us. And so let us this day peer into the tomb again, the empty tomb, knowing that Christ is arisen. And let us sing. Let us go forth with a song on our hearts. And let us go in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>